Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and it is time to have a look at the ads for this week. We're gonna start with the Save A Lot ad and then move over to the Aldi's ad. So, um, here we go. I'm gonna unfold this because it's the long way, which is not my favorite. So right here we have a turkey for 79 cents, which is a great price. So the word on the street about the turkeys is there's not a shortage of turkeys but there is a shortage of turkey. So what does that actually mean? You'll be able to get a turkey, but there's not gonna be a lot of variety potentially in the size that you want. So you might have to find or take the turkey that you find instead of sorting through and finding the turkey that you want in that specific size range. Like typically, I like to get a 19 or 20 plus pound bird. And I think I got like a, a 16 or a 17 that's plenty still for us, so it's fine, but um, it wasn't, everything was kind of in that size range. There wasn't like a, a small bird on one end and a like a 22 or 25 on the other, like a 9 or a 10 to that 2025. So they were all between like 12 and 18 or something like that. So, um, but a Honeysuckle is a, a name brand. This is a good price. Um, I will say this family pack that means three at my store so um basically it just times this by three and that's what you're looking at as far as price goes so 714 like 21 dollars for this is what you would write out for your budget celery 99 cents each is not what i would consider great but i mean it's acceptable it seems to be what everyone is across the board this is okay for for uh, the top round roast, especially anything boneless, because beef is just high, we all know. An eight pound bag of russets. So usually I like to see these in a, or a 10 pound bag, and I like to see them for like 25 cents or less. So this is $3, uh, I gotta do math, hold on got the old computer out. So then this, I did the math, $3 divided by eight. You're looking at about 37 cents a pound. So this is a little high, um, eh, 12 ounces for $3 and 50 cents. I would say that this would be high even at 16 ounces, which is a pound, not my favorite. Um, this is not terrible. This um, Maxwell House, how many ounces? 30 divided by... So this is almost two pounds. Um, and I'm paying about $8 for a two pound container at Sam's. This is not a bad deal at all. So um, in fact, I would say load up on this because it's looking like it might even be cheaper than Sam's. So what I'm going to do is going to do $4.99 divided by this. How many ounces? 30.65. And that's 16 cents an ounce. And that's right around what I'm paying per ounce at Sam's is that 17 to 18 cents range. So <clears throat> this is an accident, a deal, excuse, man, my voice. This is a deal that you have access to, no membership needed. That is pretty good. Mrs. Smith's pies, oh, that's not terrible either for this. Um, I'm going to look through here. I feel like this is an everyday deal. This is an everyday deal. These come around pretty often. All right, I'm going to flip my page up <clears throat> for the bottom half. Um, these are not the entire pork loin. It says whole. It means it's one piece. It's not sliced or partitioned. Um, this is high because it's going to be marinated. I would much prefer that you get the plain one and pay less per pound. These are in each price, so they are pre-portioned between 23 and 27.2 ounces, which is what it says here. That does make for a nice dinner type roast, but for real, you can get this and you can put Italian dressing in a 
Ziploc bag with it. You can dose it with a dry packet of ranch. Um, you can do a, a, a Greek flavoring. You can use, and I'm talking about, you can use a salad dressing with that, or you can use like a dry, you know, uh, measure out and, and seasoning um, container. Like you would get like the garlic powder or onion powder in like that, that type. They do have those around. Or you can do something like a um, Mesquite or Montreal uh, blend packet. You could even put some chili seasonings on it, like for chili powder and make it a little spicy. There's a ton of stuff that you can do and you just pay so much less if you do the marinating. You can leave it overnight. You can actually throw the marinade on it and put it in the freezer um, because the freezing actually opens the pores in the meat and it absorbs it um, the marinade more through the thawing and the freezing process so that's a tip these 16 ounce two for three dollars i find that this is kind of the same price it is about at everywhere but it is not a great price the really the a good price would be like two fifty a pound right now i know at sam's i can get a bob evans two pound um chub which is what this is it's the 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 two pack and it is 4.99 so it's five dollars it's 250 twice it's 250 a pound um all these 2.99 a lot of times sometimes it's 250 depending on if it's on sale that sort of thing so um I'm also just not particularly a fan. Like, if I had a choice between this brand and the Aldi brand, I would get the Aldi brand. And if I had a choice between Aldi's and the stuff I get at Sam's, I prefer the Sam's. So that's kind of like my hierarchy of choice. This is not bad. If this is the store you're going to this week, get it and don't feel bad. Um, I'm not seeing anything here else that is wowing me except the sweet potatoes. The sweet potatoes is about the lowest they are going to be because you know that this time of year when we get to Thanksgiving, once you hit Halloween, we have Thanksgiving and Christmas and those are the Super Bowl of food. This is, it doesn't get better than this when it comes to the food deals. So if you are a stocking up person, if you are meal planning, now is the time to get those plans together and start looking at things that you will be using in the future and and getting them now at the lower price. Sweet potatoes are one of them. I do typically um, like to get them at Aldi's for... <sighs> a, it's a simple reason. It's it's not silly, but it's a, it's a reason. Very often, the, the sweet potatoes are very large. They're large at, um, at Save-A-Lot. And even at, like, my giant eagle, they tend to be really large. And I don't know if that's because there's a perception of, you know, the bigger, the nicer. Uh, uh, I'm going to be honest. I would much prefer to have a whole bunch of the smaller ones because they tend to be pre-portioned out better when they're small than when... I'm not going to give someone like a two pound sweet potato on their plate um, because I tend to like to do them as a baked potato where you clean them, oil the skins and just throw them in the oven or in the crock pot. And then, you know, you break it open, and throw some butter on top as a side dish. So that is my preferred way. But if you are doing something like a sweet potato casserole or a pie with these yams, um, I guess they're sweet potatoes, not yams, but uh, they're equivalent here. Then you can get the big one. The other thing, the other downfall is the big ones just take a long time to cook them. If you're going to cook them whole, you do need to cut them up. And they are, um, they're starchy and they're real solid. So they're, they can be a real um, fight to cut them up depending on the knife and the strength that you have so like the big ones aren't always my favorite but they're totally acceptable 
this is really high dollar 50 for a pineapple typically i like to see those in the dollar i like to see them at the, in the dollar range that means like 99 95 cents they do go on sale for that um but the regular price of my aldi's right now is a dollar 29 for these pineapples so you know mm, three to pound bag of onions so let's do some math here two dollars divided by three um, That's not right either. Oh my gosh, you guys. 1.99 divided by 3. 66 cents a pound on these. Nah, that's not terrible. I would really like to see these in the under a dollar range. And that may actually happen in the next, like the next round. Um, the food's just really high. Cabbage for six, 69 cents a pound. Much better than usual. The only other time that you're going to see this be a lower price is going to be around St. Patrick's Day, and in which case the best rock bottom deal is in the 33 to 39 cent range. But a lot of times in the last couple of years, we've seen it in the 49, 59, 69 range, which is exactly where we are here. So, um, this is not a bad price. That's something that if you are a cabbage person, you could look at. All right, so here we go. On the inside of the ad, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't feel like this is a sale price. I feel like it's just something that people are going to be using a lot, so they want you to see it, and it looks like a low price, but I think that's kind of how much it is all of the time. Their butter, this is spreadable butter, $3.29. I'm going to be honest. My Aldi's had actual real unadulterated unmonkeyed around with pure butter for $1.99 so I don't feel like those are terribly great deals um same thing here I would just rather have the butter um I know that there are some people that have a real preference for the spreadable stuff Chris has it um I'm not a fan of it I think it's it's unnatural um because even if if it's real butter it's they've added something to it to make it spreadable so um that's a thing. This is a regular price. This is a two pound, um, the frozen corn. I know that's a two or a regular price. This is all regular price guys. Um, the, the, this is a special buy, which means they don't usually have these, but this is Rhodes. This is an actual regular store brand. So you should look here, 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 and down here at Ritz. I know we haven't quite made it down here yet, but it's a special buy and save a lot does accept coupons for its name brands, even for the special buys. So double check your coupons because honestly, this time of year, weird coupons actually do show up for things that normally don't have coupons like canned vegetables and country crock. So just double check. So um, as we go down here, like I said, I don't find anything particularly special. Um, I don't feel like these are a particularly special price either. I do know that this is the season when people will often, you know, they show the cheese cracker like thing uh, where that's a big deal. I know people make um, like Christmas fudge and things like that, Christmas bars with these for the crust and it's good. Um, not really just seeing anything here that is flipping my my switch but i do like i said remember when i said hey guys you get coupons for stuff i'm i'm gonna bust out my coupons these are the coupons that i actually got and there is this look because sometimes you can find these are marked down on sale for like 45 55 65 cents and in you know you can l legit get a dollar off if you buy a couple of them and it makes it super um cheap um, I'm not sure that there's anything else super great in here. Yeah, so that was the, that was the, the one thing. Like, I'm not a giant couponer, but I do always check, um, and that would be the one for this week. Okay, so I am going to also do, it's a special edition, guys. I saved all the ads for you. So I'm going to show you what my turkey prices look like at all my stores. All right, so 
I've got the Acme ad here. There they have, this is, I know, this is the high end of what we're doing this year. So it's $1.69. And if you have your um, club card, your savings card that they have, they subtract 40 cents. So that makes it a dollar. 29 so a dollar 30 um and this is gold standard this is not like a butterball or a honeysuckle you know like the the name brand turkeys so that is really high and these spiral sliced hams we saw these in oh, i've lost my ad now there it is what do we see the ham at This is not a spiral ham though. This is just a portion of ham and it's always cheaper when they don't cut it, but just that's the price difference there. Their butter is also $1.98 here. I'm just saying that's a, a, a go price for butter. Okay, so then now as we move on, we're gonna see what we've got one, two, three different prices here for a turkey and I'm looking at marks and it's just not presenting itself right away to me. Um, so I'm just gonna put that off to the side and we're not gonna worry about marks. So we have three different prices here. We have a 79 cent for Dave's, which is, there it is, equivalent to my Save-A-Lot bird price. And then we have Giant Eagle for 49 cents with your card you have to have your card otherwise it is not this price it'll be much higher but they also have a fresh turkey for a dollar 89 and fresh turkeys are always much more um expensive because they're they've never been frozen they don't have a shelf life they don't keep forever either you sell them and you use them or they're not fresh anymore um and then we have our our leader here as far as we as meyer um and they also have bulk sweet potatoes at 25 cents so um and then they have their spiral ham here also a dollar 89 way cheaper than seven than the 279 so um this is like w the one time that i would say you really need to double check some of your other ads to go and get your really good priced things because Again, Market District yams. These are sweet potatoes. They show them cooked. They're two for a dollar, two pounds for a dollar. So um, they're 50 cents a, p a pound. Um, and this, but that's literally half of what Myers is doing. Myers is the new game in town. They're brand new for us. Um, they, they started building like right before the pandemic. And like, we would drive by and be like, look, it's a store we're not allowed to go into. Um, so I have never gone into Meyer here at home, but I can tell you as a as a youngster, um, down in like the Dayton area, we had gone to Meyers. They were like a Walmart then because they had like non-food things. Anyway, um, I just wanted to show you the price comparison here for that. Okay, so my Aldi's did not give me a paper ad this week. So we are gonna look online for this so uh we're going to start off here with the aldi's ad um we have an 89 cent turkey here which are 87 cents which again is not the cheapest turkey around but it's not the most expensive one either it does have a limit of two i'm gonna blow this up just a little bit so that it's easier to read um they were butterball which is a great um brand name the aldi's saber celery is cheaper than it is at save a lot which is a 99 cents and um our potatoes a 10 pound bag let's see here twenty two cents it is way cheaper than the potatoes at the um at save a lot which were again 37 cents per pound uh, and you're getting the full 10 pounds so this is the better deal so as we scroll down to our aldi saver i will go ahead and give you this tip if you've watched my videos before i've said this but if you are new this is something that you need to be aware of all these prices in red 
that means that item is on sale, whereas these prices in black mean they are not on sale. So um, the sliced brown sugar ham, which we saw at the Acme ad, was $2.79. 15 way better price here and i will vouch also that the appleton um hams they actually are pretty darn tasty uh i don't feel like i'm missing out at all when i get them they have a delicious brown sugar crusty glaze it is amaze balls okay so pineapples a dollar 49 so like i said um this is high for my Aldi's. Typically, a regular price for a pineapple is $1.29, but we did see an equivalent um, two for $3 at Save a Lot. That's the same price. We have the 49 cent per pound sweet potatoes. It's not as good as the Myers, which is 25 cents a pound, but it's pretty good as far as um, Save a Lot goes. It's at 59 cents. Oh no, that was the. Um, I got crap that real quick. That was the no, they were at 59 cents. Ha, ha I was right. So these Brussels sprouts, we did see them in the Meyer ad. They were two for four dollars. This is a dollar sixty-nine. This is a better price because two for four dollars is two dollars each. Um these oranges are not terrible. They're high, I feel like, because of this time of year. Or because of the COVID things, but for this time of year, they're not terrible. They have a whole fresh turkey. Again, that means that it is not frozen. We saw that in the Acme and maybe in the Giant Eagle ad for $1.89 per pound. So again, this means fresh means it's never been frozen. So these turkeys don't have the shelf life as the frozen turkeys. But the good news is, that if you have a problem thawing stuff out, bam, they're done already. So, um, thin sliced pork chops, that is a high. I feel like anytime that you have them do the work for you, the stuff is high. So, I'm going to scoot on down here. Now, again, what do we see? Prices in black, prices in red. I'm going to scroll down because we don't need to see this. This is not anything important for us to see. But what do we see all down here? There's one, two, three things that are on sale. I'm going to tell you now, this four for five dollars. Or dollar twenty-five for a two liter. That's just a, an average price. That price comes around very, very often. So, um... I don't know that you need to feel a terrible sense of urgency for that. Down here we have these pie crusts. They are, this is a two pack and they come in a, I think it's funny because they're like, it's a reusable tin. And I'm like, um, okay, really it is the same cheap, cheap tin foil pan, like, um, see this nine inch reusable pan so for real like what you would reuse them for is you would eat the pie out of it you would rinse it out soap it up just, you know just wash it a little bit and then you would put somebody's like leftovers with some foil over the top and send them home with it. it's not even it's just not that nice so um but i did personally get some of these last week um it is two of them for $1.19, which is not bad at all, but they are bottom crusts only. So if you're doing something like a pumpkin pie um, or a pecan pie or any kind of custard pie that you don't put a lid on or a top, these are fine. I did make pot pies with these and I had to go to the store like on Monday and buy some of the, the um, regular pie crusts that were rolled up in a box so that I had tops for them, but they were good. They were a hit. No one, no one disliked them. I will say that this is probably the best deal in the ad right now is this $2 butter. It does have a limit of six. I got my limit last week of six. I will get a limit of six again this week. I will get a limit of six until either my freezer can't hold any or they don't have this ad any or this deal anymore. So just saying, um, 
that is the best stuff on this page. So we are going to scroll over here and we're going to go up. This is obviously the Aldi's, the Isle of Chain page, which frankly is kind of everybody's favorite. So um, these are like ideas for people for gift giving. And I don't feel bad about that. I, you know, Aldi's, you do your jam, you do you, babe. Um, Oh man, it's an extra big ad. I'm so sad I didn't get one of these already. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to scroll down here because they clearly have more than one page. Oh, it's so annoying. All right, we're going down here. These are all um, Isle of Shame. Oh, come on, all these. This ad is kind of crazy for me. Um, Isle of Shame things. Are you really going to buy a $50, $50 indoor tent? For $50, I can buy an actual outdoor tent that sleeps like half as many as they say on the package, but you know, like probably like two or three kids easily. Um, anyway, I cannot believe they're charging this for this. Okay. So sorry. Um, I love James stuff. Your mileage may vary. Everyone should have a, uh, a checkout of this stuff. These are cute. I don't know that I'm going to buy them for $25. Like I would actually go into the store and look at them though. Um, these are Squishmallows. This is a cheapy, uh, stocking stuffer. It's less than $20. Anything that falls into the less than $20 falls into the category of what I consider stocking stuffer. And that is a Squishmallow, which is a name brand. So maybe you'll have a look at that, especially if you're just going to do a toss toy. Like here, kid, have something. Um, I'm just not feeling like super excited about any of this stuff here. Um, these leggings tear really fast. That's what I've heard online. All right, we're gonna we're gonna scoot over out of this stuff. I'm gonna go up again, see what we have here. Now um, we have a couple of things. Do you see how these are all in black? These seasonal prices they are never on sale. They are always their full seasonal price. Um, 49 cent or $49, uh, six piece comforter and coverlet set. So that means there are six pieces here, but you don't get no sheets with it, which is kind of like sad, but I will say this, um, these are very popular with the, um, the all these groups, the, the, the bedding. I have purchased the sheet sets and things like that before, and they are not terrible. They are, if they're, they are cute. Um, I'm not probably buying a $50 set, but when it comes around for the, sh the flannel sheet sets, I'm totally going to have a look at those. I have gotten a set for the, I think I've got two sets for the kid's bed and one set for my bed and they are usable again this year. So I'm, I feel like they're reasonable. These are cute. Um, I've gotten these fragrance warmers and I feel like they pull forward out of my outlet. I don't feel like they're well balanced. Um, so if you're into that, great. If not, I, I might go for not this outlet for that sort of thing. Um, oh, this I feel like is a great great organizer because this will be really good for going under your sink both in the bathroom and the kitchen it's a lot of um upward storage instead of just like um surface storage you're storing up so you're moving things up off of you know your shelf or whatever and it, especially under the kitchen in the sink it's tall and it's narrow so you can put one in each side of the sink drain which can be a problem organizing thing but i'm a big fan of this i love this because um i love organizer stuff um yeah okay so this spin mop i'm a huge fan of the spin mop i have the the red brand that the name brand i think they're actually it's rubber made i'm not even sure but um, I'm a huge fan of this mop because you can put down a ton of water, uh, like when your kid spills Kool-Aid or sugar or something else that where you have to really put a lot of water to dissolve all that sugar. And then you can spin the heck out of it 
and you can make a really um, very close to just a very lightly damp mop so that it pulls up all, absorbs all that water. I'm a big fan of this. So I highly recommend if you are interested in one of these spin mop systems, Aldi's is a great place to buy this at a low price point and then decide that, yes, this is something I want and then buy the name brand one or just decide this is good enough. That happens too and that's totally fine. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go over here, back to the top. We have actual food again. Hello, yay! Um, so all of these prices, let's say it what color they are printed in black, so they are not on sale. So I'm going to just basically not talk about any of these. You can look at them. But hey guys, they're the regular price. This is on sale. These are the Ritz crackers. I actually have some of these sitting right next to me because everyone in my house has decided that they love crackers um, and that these Ritz knockoffs are the best crackers on the face of the earth. So I will probably be loading up on some of these. Um, and they're just kind of like a holiday staple, I feel like, both for uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Uh, more not on sale stuff lots of not on sale stuff down here this down here is i would like to see this at 99 cents but honestly i feel like this is a pretty regular price i will double check when i go into the store but these are all regular price group waffles guys they're here they're so good chris loves them he got into them the other day he's like can i just eat one of these Yes, sir. Don't eat them in front of the kids, though, because they will gnaw your arm off. Okay, so here we are at the last page. And I'm going to say this, that, again, there is basically no on-sale things. Um, now, I will tell you a couple things about this, that, like, this is new, but honestly, you should be not paying more than a dollar for a box mix of anything. Um, and here's a secret. If you're going to make a box mix of cake, there's no shame in your game, friend. I get it, dude. Just do it. Do it. No problem. If you want to make, whether this is a, a chocolate or this is a yellow cake that's on sale also, but for either a chocolate, like a, a chocolate dark cake, a black cake, or a, a yellow or a white cake, here is the secret to making a box cake mix not feel like a box cake mix. All you have to do is, in the same aisle, grab a box of pudding whose color matches your cake. Chocolate for the brown cake, vanilla for white or yellow. Make the cake mix exactly like it says on the, the, um, the box, and then dump in that dry pudding mix and you will have the most moist, delicious, not box feeling cake you have ever made. And it takes like next to no effort. And it's like 50 cents for that packet. Um, and it's shelf stable. So you can keep like one of those around as a just in case box for ages. So I'm just saying these are the, the two things. And then also like this brownie, if you get a box of brownies, Throw some walnuts on the top of that, and it's like the best stuff ever. Um, so these things, when they say new, 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 that very often means seasonal. Cornstarch is definitely not new. And this is also the same brand that they have. I don't know why they say new here. Um, but these mean seasonal. It means that they're not going to carry either this size package or... Um, or this item, like they don't carry like allspice and nutmeg all year round. Same thing with a lot of these extracts, like they have almond pretty much all year, but maybe like the lemon they won't. So make a note of that. Um, down here, these are obviously seasonal items. Boulder wax paper. Boulder is the brand. It's not extra bold. Um, this parchment paper is typically seasonal. Wax paper is not seasonal. They carry that, I'm pretty sure, all year round, guys. Hmm. Um, this Carlini baking spray looks like it's in a new package. Um, maybe it's a new size. 
whatever. This food coloring gel is not something they typically carry. Um, so these are what I would call a seasonal item, even though they are not, um, I don't know, particularly like holiday themed food coloring. That's something you can use all year round. But um, this writing icing and these baking coconut flakes, yeah, those are just things they don't carry all year round. A lot of the baking products is, are things they don't carry all year round. So if you want a baking product, load up on it now because um, between now and Christmas, best prices of the year, the next time you're going to see prices that are even close is going to be around Easter. Okay, guys, I am going to try and wrap this up if I can figure out how to do all of this stuff. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you, or I will talk to you later. Bye.